In this video, we are going to learn how to get that painterly, dreamy, fantasy-ish effect in Photoshop. So better let's see it. So this is the image that we're going to start with and this is what we are trying to achieve. I'm not sure whether you can see it. So let me zoom in and show it to you. So that's that. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you're wondering where did I get that photo from, I got it using an awesome plugin called Pexel. So this plugin allows you to search for free stock photos inside of Photoshop. So I can type in anything and I can search for free images. I can just click it and it will directly import it into your document as a layer. So if you want to know more about this plugin, it's absolutely free. Go ahead and check out this video and link it up right here or here. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to remove noise. Now this might sound a little bit strange. but you'll see what I'm trying to do. Now before we do that, make sure you make a duplicate of this layer. To do that, right click, just drag it and drop it right here. One of the other ways of making a duplicate is pressing the shortcut Control J. If you're using a Mac, it's Command J. So this is a copy and now let's name it Smooth. Let's make one more copy and name it Details. All right, details. I'm very slow in typing. All right, so select the smooth layer. All you need to do, go to filter, noise. Where is noise? All yeah, right, reduce noise. Make sure the values are 10, 0, 0, 0. So strength 10, pre preserve details and reduce color, everything 0. Make sure basic is selected and click OK. So this has gone a little smoother. Right? So this is applying the effect. Let's wait. All right. So this is a little smoother now, as you can see. Let me show you the before and after. So this is before, this is after. So not that much smooth. So to make it more smoother, what do we do? Apply the filter again, as simple as that. And to apply the filter again, you don't have to go all over again. You just have to click to filter and click it reduce noise again. So this will be applied automatically again. It's doing the work. Uh, all right, so this has gone a little more smoother. Now, if you want it to be more smooth, you can apply the filter again. And to apply the filter again, one of the most commonly used shortcuts is Control F. But wait, wait! If you're using Photoshop version 2015.5 and above, the shortcut is Control Alt F or Command Option F. Anything before that, like CS6, CC 2015, or CC 2014, the shortcut is Control F. So I want a, I want it to be a little more smoother. So I'll press Control Alt F because this is Photoshop CC 2017. All right. So let's let's make it a little more smoother. Don't worry about the details. We're gonna get it back. All right. So make sure the details layer is selected. Let's turn off the smooth layer. So this is the copy of the normal layer. So nothing special about it. So in this layer, we're gonna use it to apply details that we have lost in the smooth layer. To do that, go to filters, other, and high pass. Now this value is going to be different for every image. It totally depends upon the resolution, the type of image, all kind of stuff. So how do you determine the perfect value for your image? Now, make sure your value is such that the edges of your image is pronounced. So let me zoom straight in. Your value shouldn't be so low that the noise is pronounced. The edges of the eye, the eyebrows, the hair, they should be pronounced. So let's increase the value. So let's zoom out just a little bit. Increase the value, edges of the hair should also be pronounced. Not too much. Don't go overboard. All right, so this is fine. 4.9, let's keep it 4.5. Let's click OK. Now, keep the details layer above the smooth layer. So let's move the details layer, drag the details layer just above the smooth layer and drop it. Let's turn on the smooth layer and change the blending mode of the details layer to overlay. Watch. This has got the effect and also the smoothness, the detail smoothness together. Now let's make a group of it so that we can see the before and after. Press and hold Ctrl or Command and select the other layer and then press Ctrl or Command G. This makes a group. So this is the before, this is the after. So let's zoom out. Let me show you how it looks overall. All right, so this is the before, this is the after. And if you want it to be more smooth, what you can do, you can go ahead, select the smooth layer and filter. Now this time you have to apply it again because the last filter that we applied was high pass. So the filter, noise, reduce noise. So let's go ahead and do that again. 
All right, let's see what happens. All right, so this has become more smooth and as you can see the colors are leaking out and one of the other things that you can do, you can always play with the high pass. So this high pass was value was at four, right? So let's try what happens when I apply a value of two or one. So let's delete this details layer and let's make a copy of the forest again and let's name it details again. So let's apply a high pass, filter other high pass and this time let's make it one. See, the edges are still pronounced. And you cannot see it because the smooth layer is just above the high pass layer. Let's try it with two. So this kind of trial and error thing. Right, let's keep it above smooth and let's make it overlay. Now I think this looks much more beautiful than the value of four. Watch, this is smooth and also we have the details in the eyes, right? So that's pretty much it for this video. So this effect will be helpful in creating those fantasy composites and artwork kind of stuff. You know what I mean in the Photoshop. So hope this video helped and if it did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.